Today is how to play one of my favorite board games of all time, Battleship. Okay, I'm going to be playing on the app, but it is the same game. If you don't know how to play it, don't worry. This video is going to teach you everything you need to know. So this video will be broken into two parts. Part one is how to play the game, and part two is I'm going to walk through a game. As the board game is related, each person is given what looks like a little clamshell. And when you open it up, you notice a few things in it. Number one, on the bottom, there's a grid, a 10 by 10 grid with places to put pegs. Also on the top is a 10 by 10 grid with places to put pegs. Then you also have white pegs and you have red pegs. You also have five ships. You've got an aircraft carrier, which is five pegs long. You've got a battleship, which is four pegs long. You have a submarine, which is three pegs long. And you've got another three pegs long ship here. And then you've got a little tugboat here that's two pegs long. The goal of the game is to find and sink your opponent's five ships before your opponent finds and sinks your five ships. How is that done? Well, it's very simple. Step one is you are going to hide your ships by placing them somewhere along the bottom 10 peg by 10 peg grid. Your opponent does not see where you put them. You do not see where your opponent puts them. And if you look along the sides, you'll notice that there's numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 through 10. And there's also letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. And so, therefore, a single grid could be A1, or it could be B6, or it could be F8. And you start the game by putting your ships on the board. So let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay is now you and your opponent each take turns calling out a grid number. For example, B1, B2. The opponent then looks at the number that you called out and looks to see if there is a piece of one of their five ships. If there is, it's a hit. If there isn't, it's a miss. And you keep going back and forth in this manner until you've got enough hits to call out every grid number and therefore sink the ships. Now, one thing that you do need to know is that if you do get a hit, you get to go again. Otherwise, it's back and forth, back and forth. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry. It's going to make sense in a second. And there really isn't much more you need to know. So let's go ahead and play. I'm going to start by placing my five ships. So here are my ships. I can move it this way. I can even probably move this one here. Maybe I want to hide him here. Let's put this one that the guy down here. Let's spread these out, maybe up this way. As you can see, they can go horizontally or vertically. So I am hiding my five ships like this. My opponent has done the same thing on his clamshell. And so it begins with a flip of a coin to see who gets to call out the first grid number first, and I get to call out the grid number first. So you see on the left, this would be the bottom of my clamshell where I have my five, and then on the right where it says your turn, this would be the upper part of your clamshell is where you're looking at the grid. And this is where you're gonna make notes to see what numbers you wanna call, and also you make notes so that you know what you've already called so you can help figure out where your opponent is. So let's just start I'm going to guess B2, and it's a miss. So I put a white peg there because it's a miss, and now my opponent is calling me, and he's called, as you can see here, B4. That was a miss. So every time you get a miss, you put a white peg, and every time you get a hit would be a red peg, which you'd be putting on top of one of your ships. And this game is just going to keep going back and forth, literally, until we sink each other's five ships. So let's call out that one which is uh, G5, it's a miss, and as you can see, it's constantly updating there on the grid where I've put my misses. My opponent has called another miss. I'll try another one right here on D8, another miss. My opponent calls a shot, looks like E9. It's also a miss, but very close to my submarine. Let me try H1, and it's another miss. And usually the beginning of the game starts with a lot of misses, and the first time somebody really does fire a shot it's uh, exciting as you can see where i've hit all the white shots which are and you can see on the opponent where all the places he's called so he's come close to me a few times i wonder if on my board i've come close to him several times at this point i'm just poking around his board trying to get a hit somewhere and so far i've got six 
Shock. Uh-oh, he's just hit my battleship, so he gets to go again. Uh-oh, he's hit me again. He gets to go again. Uh-oh, he hits me. He gets to go again. Well, that one's a miss because he didn't get the fourth part of the battleship. So now it's my turn. But as you can see, he's literally only one more away from having sunk that ship. Uh-oh. I guess I'll have to guess. Do I get a hit or a miss? I have a hit. So now I can go again. I don't know what kind of ship he has. It could be the two, the three. It could be the battleship four. It could be the five. Let's go again. And, uh, and that's a miss. So now it's my enemy's turn. He's probably going to sink my ship right now. Yep. And he's done that. And he sunk my ship. One of my ships, one of my five are down. And so he gets to go again. Oh my gosh. And he luckily hit another one of my ships. Oh, no. And he's about to sink my second ship. And all I can do is try to figure out where this ship is. And I guessed, and I was actually wrong, meaning I thought maybe the ship was vertical. It, I thought maybe the ship was vertical. It looks like it's not. Maybe I'll try on this side. If that's a hit, I get to go again. And that's a hit. I get to go again. It still doesn't say I've sunk a ship. And enemy's turn. So did I sink it? Ironically, I and so he's now shunk, sunk my ship. So he's now sunk my second ship. But ironically, I haven't sunk his ship, which makes me think that maybe this is more than one ship next to each other, all going vertical. So let's start to give that a try. Ah, okay, so that's vertical. I'll try again. I may have therefore hit three of his ships right now. This may have actually worked out to my benefit. Um, so that would mean. I've got three of his ships identified. Um, and he's now back to fishing around for where I am. So if I do that, that's going to sink his aircraft carrier. That sinks his uh, five-pronged ship. But I still have two other spots here. So I'm guessing this has to be one of his ships. Could this be a, a, a three-ship? Nope, this is his battleship. Wow, I think I've just sunk his four-pronged ship. And I'm getting to go again, so let's just keep going. Another hit. Did I get another hit? Yes, and I've now sunk one of his three ships. I now have three of his five ships sunk. That's awesome. I guess I have to go fishing for the other two. And hopefully now it'll take him some time to find my last three ships. If you're asking me, is there any more strategy to this game? Really, there isn't. If you're asking me, can I stack ships on top of ships? No. If you're asking me, can I lay a sh ship diagonally? The answer is no. If you're asking me, can I lay a ship that hangs off the edge of the grid? The answer is no. Um, and now we're back to just fishing back and forth. I feel like maybe I did a good job hiding some of mine in the corner because he seems to be shooting mostly for the edges. And still I miss. I really hope I can find his other two ships before he finds mine. Oh, and he's hit one of my... He's actually hit the hardest ship to find, which is the one with just little two. Oh, man. Let me just keep going. Oh, now I have a hit. Maybe I can sink a fourth ship. Oh, and it's another hit. And how about I try to get this one? And that's a miss. But it looks to me like I have gotten four of his ships down. And he's about to get my third ship, my small ship, which generally is the hardest ship to find. So I've sunk that. The only thing left for me to find with him is that little tugboat two uh, ship. Where do you think it could be? I'm, I guess I'll just try to start closing in on all different areas to see if I can fish around. In the meantime, he's still got to sink that second ship. How about I try one here? Yes? No. And now he'll probably sink it for sure. Great. So he's got to find two more of my ships. I need to just find his smaller, sh smallest ship. And, ooh, that was close, but no cigars, they say. How about over here? Did I get him? No. Come on. Don't hit me. Good. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. How about I try over here? Now, because I'm literally looking for a needle in a haystack here there's a very good chance that he'll probably find my two larger ships before i can find his one smaller ship so that's not really making me happy so i'll just i don't know all i can do is just cross my fingers and keep trying to fire oh he fired a close one and he missed again i must have been close somewhere in here let's try there 
If I could literally just get one, I'll quickly find the other, and this game will be over. I will be the victor. Come on, come on. How about here? How about a hit? No. Okay. Come on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Good. Uh, come on. Let's see. How about over here? Hit? No. Okay, come on. We're really starting to fill up the board with a lot of misses. I mean, our aim is uh, terrible. This is a lot of bullets if you were in the um, hit. No. Uh, okay. By the way, if you want to play games with me like this, you can go to my Patreon page. Sign up. Patreon members get to play games w with me one-on-one. -on -one. Instead of me playing a robot here, I'll be playing you. Ugh, and he's hit my submarine, and he's about to sink it. And he did. Oh, no. The worst thing would now would be he just finds my other ship. Oh, no. Okay, I really got to find him. Where would that ship with only two be? How about right here? There? Hit. No. Please don't hit me. Please, sir. Ah, oh, close, but no cigar. Where else would he have put that little tiny ship? How about over here? No. Please don't hit me, sir. Okay, good. Um, oh, come on. I want to win this game. And now that I've talked about it so much, let me just win. Yes? No. Oh, come on. Uh, how about here? At this point, I just want to start to maybe close in any... Oh, no. He just hit it. Now he gets to go again. And it's, he's going to keep going. I think I've lost this game, folks. Oh, no. Oh, no. And he sunk my aircraft carrier. I have lost. Because I could not find his fifth and final ship. Which he had... Oh, right there, next to the other one. Oh, well, folks. It doesn't matter how many years you've been playing this game. You can still lose. It's a fun game. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out all the other games that I teach and play on this channel. Have a good one, everybody.